noon everyone. Uh, around 800 uh, American citizens, <coughs> legal permanent residents, and family members have departed through Rafa Gate. Um, there are a, a little over 1,200 left, which is a higher number than we had when we, uh, uh, when we announced it last week. One of the things that happens is we continue to identify either additional American citizens or American citizens or, or permanent residents who have additional family members that they're reporting to us that we then uh, uh, try to get on the list to get out of, of Gaza. With respect to American citizens who have died, the number who died as a result of the attacks of October 7th is the same as it has been. Um, there is one additional casualty um, uh, in post-October 7th incidents um, that I can report out today. There are, there are a total of six uh, American citizens who have died, not from the terrorist attacks in October 7th, but uh, 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 in the month, month plus since five who are members of the IDF, uh, and one who is a national uh, police uh, border officer. Did they die in Israel or in Gaza? Um, of those, uh, of the IDF, I believe four of them died in Gaza, one died in northern Israel. Uh, every innocent life that's lost is a tragedy, and we mourn the loss of every innocent life. Mm -hmm. These are civilians whose deaths have come through no fault of their own that are in the conflict that is not of their own making. And uh, I can tell you, speaking for myself, speaking for everyone in this administration, that we feel those deaths. Every bit as we feel the loss of Israeli civilian lives. The Houthi uh, seizure of a, the motor vessel Galaxy Leader in the Red Sea is a flagrant violation of international law. We demand the immediate release of the ship and its crew, and we will consult with our allies and UN partners as appropriate on next steps. Thank you.